Hey friends and Merry Christmas. Tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is December 23rd, so that means they're gonna be doing all the holiday festivities today. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, the special Christmas fireworks are gonna be later on tonight, and Disney surprised everybody and opened up the Walt Disney World Railroad for the first time in nearly five years. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a merry Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is so awesome to be at the Magic Kingdom this close to Christmas. I'm sure it's going to be super busy in there, but like I said, they're going to be doing all the Christmas festivities. The parade is going to be two times today, one at 12 o'clock and one at 3 o'clock. And then also, the Walt Disney Railroad is open, and I cannot wait to ride it and hear the new soundtrack and go underneath Tron. It's going to be amazing. Normally, if you wanted to see the special Christmas parade and fireworks and stage shows, you would have to buy a ticket to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. But as it gets closer to Christmas, usually around the 23rd, they start doing it for free all throughout the day for every single guest. And I love that. <laughs> And there it is, the Walt Disney World Railroad. I am so excited to ride this, actually. I think we're going to go in and look at Cinderella Castle first, and then come back down here and uh, go for a scenic route around the Magic Kingdom. There it goes. It's taking off right now. I love it. I'm so happy to see this. Look at everyone waving and excited. Merry Christmas! Seriously, a lot of people always tell you don't go to Disney during the holidays. It's super crazy, but I have to say I love it. Even if you can't ride any rides, just being here, it just feels so amazing. And we're going to be checking the wait times just to see what it's like. But with everything opening up and the parade and the fireworks, it's going to make it a little bit less like busy for some of the attractions. If you open up the My Disney Experience app, you'll see that they're doing Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks tonight at 8.15. And then they also have Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade at 3 p.m. So it's also cool to be able to see the Christmas parade during the day. And they also had one at 12, but I already missed that one. They also are doing Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. Next show is 6.15 and 7.25. So I'm just excited to be here for the holidays. I just checked some of the wait times and it's not that bad actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Like Big Thunder Mountain is 80 minutes and Space Mountain was 70 minutes. But the other day, yesterday I went to Hollywood Studios and there were six attractions with 100 plus wait times. So 80 and 60 minutes, that's not too bad. And also I wanna throw this out there. If I was interested in buying Genie Plus today, it cost $29. $29 for Genie Plus today, that is a lot of of money. Luckily, there's not going to be a long wait for the railroad, and it's actually a pretty long ride. It starts off where you can actually board right here on Main Street Station. It takes just about 18 minutes to go all the way around. They also have a boarding station in Frontierland and Fantasyland, and it just literally goes all the way around the Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna try my best to show a little bit of everything. We're definitely gonna be watching the 3 o'clock parade because I cannot wait to see that during the day. We're gonna see Santa, the toy soldiers, the, the reindeer. It's gonna be so beautiful. But right now, I think we have to go ride the railroad. And we need to make one stop before that. I had to grab myself a cup of coffee because the most relaxing feeling is riding the Walt Disney World Railroad with a cup of coffee in hand. I'm not too sure if they still let you do that because I know they changed it on a couple of things, but I'm bringing it with me just in case. I also didn't go to Starbucks because the wait time to get your Starbucks coffee is probably an hour right now. It is so busy in there. So instead, I mobile ordered a coffee from Casey's Corner and I got it within like two minutes. So that's a little hack. If you need coffee and you can't wait in the Starbucks line, just mobile order from Casey's. It's going to be good. It's Joffrey's. All right, let's head on up to the train station. And it's been a while since I've been up here. I think the last time I was up here, I was watching the fireworks from up here, but the train station itself wasn't open. I'm so happy it's finally back though. It's a great feeling. And I couldn't pick a better train for our first ride back 
than Walter E. Disney himself. Look at that. Isn't this so amazing? I'm so happy it's back. Look at all that steam coming out right there. It truly is a beautiful sight to see. Like, it's amazing that it's finally back. Walter E. Disney. All right, I guess it's all aboard. We gotta hop on now. Wow, here we go. Look at this. First time in so many years, and I'm excited. And I got my coffee with me. Got the coffee, I'm ready to go, and I'm excited. You know, a lot of people just think this is just like a train ride, but there's animatronics, and you go all the way around the uh, Magic Kingdom. You get to see a lot of cool things. The narration, like they're gonna be actually talking and pointing things out, that's actually new, so I don't even know what they're gonna say. And plus, I can't wait to see the new part of Tron. Like, where do we go? Like, I, I mean, I'm sure we're going in the tunnel, but what if something happens? Come aboard, folks. Woo! Wow, that's great. Bye! Bye! We're currently departing Main Street Station. And if you're missing your faces already, not to worry. On this train, it's never goodbye. It's always see you real soon. Para su segunda, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos para sus pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Friends, I'm so delighted you joined us today. There's nothing I enjoy more than showing folks around this magic kingdom, especially because it's certified proof that in these parts, dreams really do come true. My hand and a wish in my heart that someday I'd be the conductor of this train. And wouldn't you know it, with a bit of gumption and a dash of magic, here I am. So believe it when I say that around here, anything is possible. See what I mean? Hope you packed a compass because that, folks, is the sound of adventure. Uh, adventure land. I should say. Yonder is Big Thunder Mountain and its runaway mine trains. While just ahead is Splash Mountain, where you'll find Rare Rabbit in his laughing place. So be sure to say hi. Those critters love when folks drop in. We've reached Frontierland Station, everyone, so sit tight and hold those horses until we come to a complete stop. If you're disembarking, please carry your strollers all the way on stop on your floor and floor. That'll help make room for any new buggers. Watch a step now. This is Frontierland Interesting that they still said Br'er Rabbit and Splash Mountain since it's officially closing next month and they're gonna have to redo that part again once it opens up for Tiana's Bayou so I'm kind of shocked with that and now we are at Frontier Station you can get on and off as much as you want and uh, I think we're just gonna stay on we're in it for the whole loop those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love mining this railroad. But for those we'll never forget you. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Ooh, Big Thunder Mountain's coming up. Trains have a mind of their own. Look at that barbed wire there. Look at this. I hope we catch a train coming by. Oh. Look at that. Favorite leg of the journey. Lush wilderness, calm waters, and untamed beauty. Folks, we're in nature's wonderland. Isn't it something? Just think of the extraordinary things to see and do in these woods. Hiking trails, bird calls, fireflies, and starry nights. Setting out for adventure at sunrise, and telling the tale around a campfire that night. The enchanted forest of Fantasyland, where magic 
my shadow to stay put. Peter Pan's on the roof. Hey, get back here, Shadow. Shadow. Oh, Tinkerbell, we really must find some stronger thread. Friends, children of all ages, we're coming down. The station is also your gateway to the rest of Fantasyland. And it's a trainception right now. Look now, at that. Please wait until the train has come to a complete stop. Gather your juggling pins, unicycles, and other belongings. And get There's the lily. Away from the platform before unfolding it. That way, we can start loading up for the next leg of our trip. There are four different trains here at Walt Disney World. You have Walt, Lily, Rory, and Roger. But uh, Roger is not here right now, so the only ones they have running is Walt, Lily, and Roy, I believe. And uh, it was cool that we just got to see Lily sitting back there. It looks like uh, she's about to merge onto the tracks and uh, kind of station here in Fantasyland. Now we're about to leave Fantasyland Station and we're going to be coming upon the new section of Tron. I moved up so I can be on this side because Tron's going to be on this side, but I'm excited. I think we're going to go into a tunnel and uh, going to hear some new uh, narration, like I said. Oh, I love this railroad about as much as a songbird loves the morning. But I'm still awed by the rockets in Spaceport 75. The technology that... Unidentified users detected in upload conduit area. Scanning. Calculating. Locomotive maintaining trajectory. Intervention not required. Look at that. I am so excited for Tron to actually open up. That's going to be amazing. We got a people mover on the right, a train in the middle, and a monorail on the left. How cool is that? What a trifecta of transportation. As this here's frontier. Our trip around the Magic Kingdom is almost complete. I can't thank you enough for spending part of your day with me. And I hope you've enjoyed your journey as much as I've appreciated being a part of it. We're now approaching our most charming destination, Main Street, USA. A place where the only thing sweeter than the townsfolk is the treats. After our stop, we wasn't that just so awesome? I loved it and I'm gonna be doing it again. Right now it's super crowded. I mean, a train holds a lot of people so you don't have to wait a long time. I didn't wait any time at all. And uh, it's just about time for the three o'clock parade so we gotta go find a spot. Oh boy, lots of people are lined up already. Hopefully we're gonna be able to find a good spot. I mean, I've already seen the parade. Like when I came for uh, Mickey's very merry Christmas party, but I think it's so much cooler during the day. So we're gonna see if we can find a little spot to stand. Looks like I got a perfect spot to watch the parade. Look at that. Right here. <laughs>
Timing my mom to show her the parade. <laughs> Awesome seeing the holiday parade during the daytime and it was so cool because the characters were coming right up to me I have some photos I was taking but I put the camera down because I was getting so excited I wish I filmed it for you guys but I was enjoying all the amazing interactions and it was also cool to smell everything because all the different floats actually have a different smell like gingerbread peppermint and stuff like that but I have to say out of all of it the toy soldiers, the little marching ones, that is my favorite. I mean, they are so cool. And also the reindeers, because they got their paws like that, you know? Look at some of these awesome pictures I got to take. Look at, I love it. Dopey came right up to me, and then the reindeers came right up to me. And I was like, oh my lord, I, was, I, I don't know if I filmed any of that. I was just too excited, I was grabbing my camera. 
Now I'm going to make my way over to Tomorrowland because I want to see if they're doing the uh, Totally Tomorrowland Christmas and also if they have the holiday overlay on Space Mountain. You never know. And uh, if they are going to do it, I'm definitely going to ride Space Mountain. That is my favorite like overlay of all time. Ooh, they are actually doing a Totally Tomorrowland Christmas. Look at that. Who needs games when you got jokes? What do monsters eat on a cold winter night? Alphabet soup! Don't think about it too much. to breathe that in though well that was a lot of fun we caught santa stitch and it snowed a little bit very cool now let's check out space mountain fingers crossed maybe they maybe they might be doing it i know they do it in the past i remember i wrote it one time on christmas day oh my lord it is the holiday version and they are doing it standby is 70 minutes it looks like it might be longer than 70 minutes though Recently, Space Mountain switched up their policies on bringing cameras on. Now, you need to have a uh, GoPro or something that's attached to you. So, I'm kind of in luck. I never want to actually sit in the front row, except for when it is the holiday overlay. So, I think I'm going to try the front row. I might sound a little bit different because the audio isn't the best when it comes to the GoPro, but we're about to head on in. Look at this. I'm so excited. This is my all-time favorite. Yes! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! much fun I love it if anything that will put you in the holiday spirit right there and I probably need a little practice with the whole wrist strap but uh, I did my best there and I loved it so much and now I think it's time to get something to eat I was lucky enough to grab a last-minute reservation at Tony's Town Square the reason I'm excited to eat at Tony's Town Square is because I'm gonna ask to sit outside and we can watch the sunset and then also see all the lights turn on. And I think that's just gonna be beautiful. It's so cool to just sit on the balcony here and just look at all the views. And look, even Mulan's here. Wow, that's so fancy. <laughs> I love sitting out here. It's so beautiful. And plus, don't forget, they just added cocktails to the menu. So I think I might fancy myself a little cocktail. Seriously, though, look at this. We can watch the train actually coming into station right there. That's awesome. Got the sunset happening. 
and then everybody just going around enjoying the park the lights are turning on this is a good seat it is literally snoping at my table right now how crazy is this what an experience to have holy moly i don't know if you guys can see it or not but it is it is totally snoping right now hi Juan. Oh, I would love that. I mean, if you wanted to join me, I mean. Oh, that's fantastic. Goodness, and what a spectacular helmet you have on today, sir. Well, thank you. I would have to get something like that from Mushu, but it would have to be travel size. I think Musha would appreciate that. That is awesome. I'm sorry, you get back to ordering, all right? You know, all right, thanks. I mean, if you want to join, I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to ask the young Oh, all right. Well, thank you. <laughs> A lot of people give Tony's a lot of slack because of their food, but being able to sit out here on the outside patio is one of the best dining experiences I've ever had at Walt Disney World. Like just being able to look out and see people going about enjoying their days, watching them turn the corner and seeing the castle for the first time, it's really amazing and I love it. It's like the perfect place for people watching. And now we get to watch all of the holiday decorations light up. This is astounding i love it so much like i mentioned they have cocktails now and look at some of these drinks they have a little italy cocktail with knob creek and then they have a lemoncello sidecar and then also a little bellini and then of course they always had wine and beer but i think i'm gonna I'm gonna get myself a little italy cocktail be a little fancy and then also with the food i'm always a big fan of the uh, seasonal soup because usually it's italian wedding so i think i'm gonna get that and the classic spaghetti and meatballs a little spaghetti a little meatball a bada bing a bada bing a bada boom <laughs> and here we go the little italy cocktail i cannot wait to try this it looks a little fancy for sure look at this wow, wow, wow. cheers that's good oh, it's got a little kick to it just as i was sipping on my little italy cocktail my soup has arrived and i got the italian wedding look at this Lots of meatballs in there. I don't see any noodles though. I only see just a little bit of the noodles, but at least I got some extra meatballs. That's very nice. And uh, we're gonna dive in. It's super cold here in Florida. I mentioned the other day in Hollywood Studios that there's a falling iguana warning. Whenever it gets to a certain temperature, iguanas stiffen up and they drop from the tree. So it basically rains iguanas and they can cause damage and they can hurt people. And tomorrow, Christmas Eve, it's supposed to get down to the 30s. Even though right now I feel like it's at the 40s or 50s. So a nice hot soup sounds good. And we're gonna dive right on in. Got a little meatball. One meatball. I'm also pretty sure that these are sausage in there. And this is such good soup. I miss the bread service though. I wish they would do it. I mean, you can order garlic bread for the table, but they used to have a really good bread service that came out with everything. And now they switched it and just add that to the, uh, the menu. So we get to have a little soup, a little cocktail, a bada bang, a bada boom. I'm gonna try to get some noodles though. I'm missing the noodle game. Oh, there it is. That's the stuff. Now it is time for the main event and I went with the spaghetti and meatballs but I asked for the penne and it's fancy penne. Look at this. I like it. This actually looks really good. I have never subbed out the pasta before but I'm kind of glad I did. Let's try the pasta first. Mm. Very good pasta. Very good pasta. The thing I don't like so much is the sauce. Needs a little bit better sauce. It comes with two meatballs here, so let's break open one of these meatballs. There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. And I think this uh, menu item itself is $26. The soup is $9. You know, honestly, I could probably just come here and get like two orders of soup and I'd be happy. I just realized I keep calling this penne, but it's Capanelli. And <laughs> it's really good. Like, I like it a lot. Definitely recommend changing out the noodles. Good meatball, good soup, good cocktail. I'm living the dream right here. Living the dream. Look at the view. 
I thought about getting some dessert, but I'm not a big fan of cannolis, and that's the only tiramisu, tiramisu that they have. So I decided on uh, just a, another cup of coffee. Some coffee on the porch at Tony's Town Square. Well, here it is, another Christmas time. And I must agree with my grandchildren, it's just about the neatest time of the year. One of the nicest things about the holiday season is exchanging greetings with our many friends. For these messages from all over the world represent the true spirit of Christmas in many different ways. That was delicious. Everything I was looking for in a nice little pre-Christmas meal. And boy, did it get cold. Holy moly, it is freezing outside. And I am wearing my shorts. At least I have my performance hoodie, but yeah. It definitely dropped very much. I wanted to come and see the snow on Main Street, USA. Look at it. So much snow and it's cold enough that you would believe that it's actually snow. I mean, right now I'm calling it snow instead of snow, actually. Holy moly. Look at this. They are not shutting off the snow on Main Street. It is just pumping and pumping and pumping and I am here for it. Oh. It feels great. Hey, how are ya? Looks like I didn't time it right and I missed the Christmas show uh, on the castle, but I feel like I got a lot done today and I'm not properly dressed at the moment to be in this cold weather. And plus it got super busy. I feel like everyone park hopped and maybe came to Magic Kingdom because this is super crowded right now. Holy moly. And with that, I think we are calling it a night here. I was thinking about staying for the Christmas fireworks, but it's too cold. And I've had like an amazing day today, so I'm very happy about it. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I know I'm not too sure if I'm going to be making another video before Christmas actually comes. So I just wanted to say it now. And thank you guys for an amazing year so far. I'm sure we're going to have more videos before New Year's, but I just wanted to be a little bit ahead of time and saying how much I appreciate you and especially during the holiday season and my birthday it's been incredible so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye Gracie where are you where is my greeting There she is! <laughs> Ooh, hello beautiful! I missed you! I missed you! You still got presents underneath the tree! Yes, yes!